So there's this wild outbreak story of knee replacement infections that was published in a paper this week, and it makes me concerned for surgery centers. Let me explain why. So in this outbreak, there were 17 infections from this bacteria called non-tuberculosis mycobacteria, or NTM, and it can cause very serious infections and it's hard to treat. So one surgery center took five infections after these surgeries to actually discover they had a problem and report it to the health department. And the health department came in and did an investigation and found that there was one surgical technologist in this case control analysis that that was working in all of these case patient procedures that developed infections. And that one surgical technologist reported that they had this hot tub exposure where this bacteria can thrive, and the health department tried to educate this surgical technologist, but ultimately they were non-compliant and were eventually terminated from this one surgery center. But that technologist was rehired at a different surgery center in the same city where this outbreak then continued at that new surgery center. And in this new investigation, they discovered that that technologist was not certified in the state of Tennessee, which is a requirement to actually work as a certified surgical technologist. The health department also found large deficiencies in infection preventionists. They had no one actually certified in infection prevention reporting these HAIs, and they had no certified surgical technologist to actually clean the instruments that are used in these procedures. So ambulatory surgical centers are not held to the same standards as hospitals that are required to do this type of reporting for hospital-acquired infections. And there are so many more surgical centers popping up across the United States. So these types of problems may become more prevalent because they are not reporting hospital-acquired infections associated with these outpatient surgery centers. So what can we do to fix this problem? Well, we can advocate that these surgery centers have to be held to that same type of criteria as hospitals, that they have to do this type of surveillance and report these infections to the public health department so that they, they can discover these types of outbreaks and these types of deficiencies that can direct better infection prevention measures in these surgical centers and keep us safe whenever we have these types of procedures.